Hey everyone, it's Alexandra and in this video I'm going to be showing you some of the things that you can do on your trip to Boston, Massachusetts. One of the top things that you need to do is walk the Freedom Trail. It starts in the Boston Common Visitor Center and it's about two and a half miles long. When following the Freedom Trail, it's very simple. You just follow the red brick road and you follow it all the way for two and a half miles. So let's go. We stopped to eat at the Paramount. It's on Beacon Hill and the food here, let me get it right in front of you. And it's really good for breakfast, lunch. Their omelets are insane. They're like, they're like big omelets and the breakfast sandwiches are really good too. You also have to check out Little Italy, which you can, if you're doing the Freedom Trail, it kind of leaves you around there. They have a bunch of Italian restaurants here. Boston and once you're here you have to get Regina's Pizza. Regina's is super popular here. They've won as you can see all these awards. Supposedly it's the best pizza around so let's let's find out for ourselves. I got the number 29 here at Regina's. It's a combination of the Regina sauce, ricotta cheese, spinach, prosciutto, cherry tomatoes, and mozzarella cheese. So let's go for it. Yes. <laughs> I like it. So it's um, I really like the taste of the ricotta cheese, and then it's very crunchy. It's very crunchy too, and then just like look at how the cheese is a little bit toasty. Next up is Mike's pastries. Now Mike's pastries, they say that they have some of the best cannolis here. So let's find out. several different cannoli flavors. This one's the Oreo one, the strawberry cannoli, chocolate covered cannoli. Pecan and caramel, look at this right here. So they say that Mike's is more of like the tourist place to get cannolis, um, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Damn. This is the Oreo one. It's very rich and creamy. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try the cannoli from Modern because they say that that's more where like, the locals go. So we're gonna do a comparison. This is the almond one right here. It's a lot smaller and just like easier to, to eat. The other one, it's good, but it's just like really big and it, it gets a little bit messy. This one's a lot tighter. And the flavors, they don't have as many flavors as Mites. They just have vanilla custard, regular ricotta, and I think a, a chocolate, I don't know. But it's, it's a lot more traditional. It's not pre-made. So enough talking, I'm gonna get, try it now and compare. I like this one more. This one's rich. It's very sweet in a good way, but honestly what I like most about it is that it's not as messy. My vote would probably be for modern, for cannolis. I see why the locals like it. Cheers to that. So this is the Quincy Market right here, and it's right along the Freedom Trail, and in here they have 34 food vendors, okay? All types of food from like clam chowder to lobster rolls, um, chicken, mac and cheese, ice cream, desserts, like just about everything. So it's pretty awesome. I recommend that you check it out. Now I'm gonna make my way through so that I can start tasting everything. Got the taro, boba tea. Let's see. Mm. It's yummy. I am off to the next stop. I'm feeling like I want some clam chowder, a lobster roll, 
some cookies and mac and cheese. So many vendors here. This is the Public Garden Park. It's right across Newberry Street. It's very nice and peaceful. They have a lot of flowers. They have a little lake. I'm in Chinatown right now, which is the cultural heart of the Chinese community here in Boston. Here you'll find a lot of gift shops, Asian restaurants, dumpling houses, little stores, and definitely a lot of great, obviously, Chinese food, which is what I'm about to go search for now. We ended up coming to the House of Dumpling here on Chinatown. We were looking around to see which restaurant had like the best vibe and like really just traditional Chinese food. There's a lot of people, so that's good because we didn't want to go anywhere that like, looked empty because you know that's a little sketch. We got the dumplings, the pork juicy dumpling. My dad got some soup, which he obviously likes because it's uh, empty right now. See, so like he ate it all. Yep. Yeah. 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 So we got the spring roll, the crab rangoon. Uh, that was really good too. So, I mean, this is the only place I eat here, but I would recommend it if you're here. The Boston Public Library is definitely worth checking out. It was founded in 1848, and it's the third largest public library in the United States. The architecture is Renaissance style, really, really nice and big. It's right on Dartmouth Street. And even if you're not gonna read, it doesn't matter. I just came because it's really nice. Like you, if you're here, you need to come and see it. So I am now at Harvard University, which is definitely a must-see. I'm walking around campus, and it's a top Ivy League school here in the U.S. Boston is known for having many museums. The one that I'm gonna check out right now is the Paul Revere House and it's in the north end, right by where Little Italy is. You can't take any photos or videos inside, so I'm just showing you the outside right now. And then the house, well, you can, I literally walked it in like five minutes. It's super fast and it was $6 per person. So it's worth watching. I mean, it's, it's only six bucks and it's, it's really quick. Might as well, right? Stop by Bulba's Deli Pizza here in Middle Italy. They have, um, it's a really good bakery. Very snowball cookies. Tonight we're going to try the Quincy. I came back to the Quincy Market this time to eat at Boston Chowder. So I got the cold lobster roll because I've already had a lot of the hot ones which are really really good and I got a little bit of the clam chowder soup so from here let me show you I'm gonna burn myself but whatever It's great, creamy, has a lot of like the potatoes, clams This is the cold, the main style cold um, lobster roll I will say I like the hot version more, which is the main style. But it's still ooh, ooh, messy. It's still good. It's still really good, but the cold, you know, it has like more sauce and the hot one is just like more buttery and warm and toasty. Then it's just better. But yeah, definitely get the hot one. But also got the cold to try too. Dad also got all these ice cream right here. Like, hey, 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 hey. Eh, fresa, eh, chocolate con almendra, 
This is Fenway Park and this is a must-see here in Boston. It's home to the Boston Red Sox, the baseball team, and it's the oldest stadium in Major League Baseball. Super popular here. There's actually a game going on right now. So right now I'm just looking for the seat and the stadium is big. We are right in the front. Okay. This is super cool. We have some great seats.